What up, dudes? It's Gaz, and welcome back to the Warframe video. So, I'm in a good mood today. We have a pretty cool interaction with Nyx Prime, and Nyx Normal, I guess. And Nyx Prime was my first Prime ever, so I'm excited she has a use currently. And she's just pretty effective against Eximus. That's the general gist of today's video. We're going to go over some stuff with Nyx, showing why she is good versus Eximus. And I'm also going to show you uh, Coil Horizon, which is Gyre's Helmet ability. We can talk about that a little bit, too. Before we get into it, though, make sure you're sub the channel and all that. Appreciate all the support on all the platforms. We've also got a live stream channel. Link is on the screen right now if you want to check that out. All right, so Nyx versus Eximus. What's so good about this? What CC is dead? Not entirely. So the reason that I'm saying that Nyx is good for Eximus is if we just read what her abilities do... They kind of like cheaty phase get past when the Xmas was buffed in the Xmas like reborn update. So, as far as her passive, enemies are 20% less accurate to target Nyx Prime. We combine that with our other abilities and status effects that will make us not getting shot at at all, pretty much. So that's really nice. Her first ability, Mind Control. It's oh, it never really been a top tier ability, but it is somewhat useful for what we're using it for today. It's a distraction for the Eximus to not be firing at us. So they're going to have a new target to shoot at that's not us. It will be some trash ad we mind control. Now you technically can mind control an Eximus after you break their overguard, but we're just trying to kill them as fast as possible. So mind controlling the Eximus is not the purpose of this setup. So we take this combined with our passive. There's another guy shooting at us. More and more likely we're not getting shot at. Her next ability, Psychic Bolts. Uh, it's going to debuff enemies, making them lose all their health, or not all their health. <laughs> They're going to lose all their armor and shields. So this will work on Eximus Overguard, and it will also work on, like, their shields or their armor underneath that as well. So um, when I say it works on Eximus Overguard, I mean, like, it strips armor through their Overguard. It will not remove the Overguard. And with a small amount of power strength, we have a full armor and shield removal here. Only, like, 125% power strength needed for that. So pretty good there. I think it also slows them down slightly, but that doesn't really matter to me. Uh, the, the big problem here is this only affects six enemies at once. So, um, you know, it could be a little bit better in that regard. Now, the main ability that we're utilizing here is Chaos. This is going to release pretty much an AoE radiation proc in the area. Enemies will fight each other, and they will be more likely to shoot each other than you because um, you got your passive, of course. So this will make the enemies fighting each other around the Eximus. It will not affect the Eximus directly, but it will affect the Eximus indirectly because the Eximus enemy will be shooting at the trash ads that are fighting each other. So if we combine all this together, and our, our helmet is Coil Horizon because I, I was testing it out. So don't worry about that one right now. So we have three abilities that are somewhat useful against Eximus and our passive. So let's just show how that goes in practice. I'm going to summon in two uh, Grenier Eximus and then like six trash ads. So the way we're going to run in there, and we'll show some Steel Path gameplay as well. Cast your Chaos. They're all like fighting each other. Let's go ahead and mind control this guy. Now we have an invincible, invincible target dummy that they will fire upon instead of us. So as you can see, besides this guy right here, they don't even know that, that I exist pretty much. I'm just in the corner like blowing stuff up. So there's our invincible guy. He's got about 1,400% increased damage right now. And I have to like walk right up to the Xmas to make them even shoot at me. Like they, they could not even care that I exist right now. We'll move all of her armor. See if our Butcher uh, Mind Control target is going to do anything here. They're not the best Mind Control targets. But as you can see, we can pretty much just like stand right next to them and shoot them. Because, yeah, they're, they're fighting each other. Now, Chaos did nothing there. And it, the, the guy's still mind control. With a good enough, uh, good amount of duration, your mind control target will be fighting for quite a while. And there you go. He does one shot level 190 Eximus. So, uh, mind control, it might not be, like, you know, the most mattifying ability. But as far as distracting an Eximus and, you know, giving you a pretty powerful target along the way, that's something you could run. So, um, yeah. That was basically what the general gist of the setup is. Now, we're going to show the build and some gameplay on the Steel Path. Um... I just, you know, I, I've always wanted Nyx to be good, and she actually has become much better since the Helmet system was added because her 4 is just, unless she's using a simulate, it just ain't it usually. Um, but yeah, what we got here is we got Brief Respite, Augur Message, and Augur Reach. With a Decaying Dragon Key equipped, we have really low shields, and it will give us our full shield back while casting our abilities, which is really good for staying alive. Um, beyond that, we just have high range for Coil Horizon, which is Gyre's Helmet ability. We'll pull enemies in, make them take some electric damage. Only lasts for two seconds. But with, with Nyx's armor stripping ability, Psychic Bolts, and this 
this can actually kill some enemies hilariously, which is not even usually supposed to kill enemies. The rest of us want some power strength, so we have enough uh, armor strip, and power strength doesn't really matter for anything else. I guess, kind of, I think it does matter for mind control a little bit, but not really. Um, the power strength is basically just for the armor strip. Then the rest is just duration and range, so our chaos can uh, cover more area. Now, I was trying out Chaos Sphere, this, abil uh, this ability augment for Nyx, which will make it where your chaos uh, is going to basically last longer and it's going to have a shrinking sphere around you. You definitely can use this. Uh, it just, you know, I want some more duration. I want another auger mod. You could definitely, definitely put this on there, guys. And you could even put Mind Freak on there as well. When uh, an enemy has mind control, they're going to give even more increased damage. Uh, but by plus 500% with a maxed out Mind Freak. And that, this is modeled by strength. So if I have 144 strength, 720 on there. So I don't know if this is still bugged. It used to not actually be working properly, but maybe it is. Um, and since we have Prime Sure Footed here, we can put a uh, increased range Exilus mod up here. And then we have Arcan Energize and Arcan Aegis. Additionally, we do have Immersion Dissipate equipped, guys. Immersion Dissipate is very good if you have a Helmuth ability like Coil Horizon or Larva. Enemies that are in, an, uh, you can basically use a weird kind of void sling canceled which will give you energy uh on enemies that are just in an area that you canceled your void sling. let's just quickly show that uh, i'm gonna repause the enemies that i think this does work on eximus as well even through their overguard so here's what i'm talking about we pull them all in with gyre's ability and then we use immersion dissipate look at all the energy so pretty good for that i think it does work on eximus through their overguard let's just confirm that real quick it does. So you can, you can get lots and lots of energy with Emerge and Dissipate on this setup. And then the weapon of choice is the Astilla Prime. Now, I do have a uh, Helmuth Invigoration for Nyx, which gives me increased energy max and uh, increased primary crit chance. But the energy max is not really important for our setup, as we already have Prime Flow on here anyway, just to simulate if I didn't have the uh, Invigoration. But yeah, as far as weapons, you just want stuff that can, like... It's not fully AoE. Like you could go fully AoE if you wanted to, but something like the Astilla is great because the enemies will be pulled into one area, and then we can just unleash like all of our bullets onto that grouped-up uh, blob of enemies from from Coil Horizon. Why Coil Horizon? Because like I guess I wanted to test it out. I think it will be good on frames that have built-in armor strip, uh, like like Nyx, like Caliban. Although we'll see if it's good enough to replace Condemn on Caliban because Condemn Caliban is really good. Um, you know. And also frames that want to mod for a good amount of range, uh, which, you know, Nyx is very flexible as far as modding. Um, if you want a fully armor strip, you need, like, a little bit of power strength. Beyond that, it's all up to personal preference. Um, you know, you could go more into range. You could go negative range if you wanted to. If you didn't want to use Coil Horizon and just wanted to focus on armor strip and uh, the mind control. But remember, your chaos range will be much lower if you go into negative range. So there's going to be a little bit of a give and a take, guys. So, um, yeah, I might I might revisit Nyx later. Uh Again, because, you know, it, it was my first Prime Frame ever, and uh, I was, I've was i been enjoying playing her. Um, you know, shield get, becoming a shield-getting cheeser uh, has definitely uh, made this frame more viable to me, because without shield-getting cheesing, yeah, good luck with that. Uh, you basically need to run Rolling Guard, you need to run, uh, you know, Augur Mod, Brief Respite. They're, like, a health tank Nyx sounds like one of the worst things possible, so... That's what I'm trying to say. And as you can see right here, that Eximus was not even thinking about me. He was shooting the gigantic blob of rad proc enemies in the corner. Um, and then I have a mind-controlled Butcher. If he actually... The, the, the melee, melee AI in this game is pretty bad, so I doubt he's going to actually even hit anything. But you get the general idea here. Um, enemies are all fighting each other, not me. I'm making a big blob of enemies that are... Uh, easily killed by my Astilla. I can armor strip them if I really need to. Uh, if any high priority targets appear, like an Acolyte, or if I'm doing a Disruption, maybe even a Demolist or a Thrax, uh, I can armor strip them no problem. There's one button press and it's done. Um, and then I can just go on to, like, you know, making the battlefield much more easy for myself and my teammates as they're all crowd controlled fighting each other and we're just, you know, hilariously destro destroying them in the corner and they're not even concerned about us in the slightest. So. Now, some thing, here, here's some, let's go over some weaknesses with this and some other helmet options you could go over. So, some weaknesses. I feel like Nyx has a little bit of a long cast time on her Chaos, and I actually didn't go with Natural Talent on this loadout. So, if you want to go with Natural Talent, you definitely can. You, you probably should, actually. Um, and also, like, the fact that it only affects six enemies with her Psychic Bolts is pretty annoying. That's what, That was my main concern with Nyx when she first got this ability reworked, like, years ago. Um, but, you know, like, we're dealing so much damage most of the time. Like, this is a steel path. We're dealing so much damage, like, you don't even need to armor strip most of the time. 
And if you do armor strip, like, it's it's like the Xmas right there. The Xmas like, instantly died after I armor stripped him. But, um, you know, I still could have killed him without the armor strip, too. That's the thing. It's like, it's kind of a weird quality of life that only six enemies are affected. But, you know, they're not going to bu buff it, so whatever. Um, so as far as some other Hellmonth options here that you could go for, um, you could definitely consider keeping her four if you want to run Assimilate. But keep in mind, that's a very different build than the build we showcased in this video, so that's going to be on you. Or maybe watch my old videos on Assimilate Mix. If you want to check that out. Um, but as far as other Hellmonth abilities, if you even want to go further into disabling Eximus, you could go for Silence from Banshee, which will disable enemies, uh, or will disable Eximus from casting their abilities, which is pretty good because that fire proc AoE is annoying. Basically makes you eat your rolling guard. Um, that could be good. That also gives you an increased uh, melee damage multiplier, I believe. So if you want to go more of a melee play style, that could be helpful. Um, you could definitely go for... I wouldn't go for Seeking Shuriken, that's for sure. Um, you know, Ensnare, potentially better than uh, Coil Horizon, as Ensnare will CC Acolytes, and it will also CC the enemies. Uh, so you could definitely run that, but that's... Where's the fun in that, dude? Gyre just came out. Oh, you don't have a Gyre because it's annoying to farm? So, so either way, like, yeah, Gyre is annoying. You don't, you don't really want to farm a second Gyre set. I don't want to farm a second Gyre set. That's why I bought her. I bought both sets of Gyre because it was so annoying to farm. Uh, but, yeah, the Spensery, you know, if you got some more Power Strength, Roar could be good. Reeve, like, blah, blah, blah. There's plenty of choices. But this is the choice I'm testing right now is Coil Horizon from Gyre. And, yeah, I can say it's pretty good. Um, it's satisfying to pull enemies into one area and just blast them away with, like, an Archiplasmor shot or an Astilla Barrage of Bullets. Um, so yeah, basically, TLDR of the video, Nyx is good versus Eximus, just indirectly, because the enemies are fighting each other, and also, your, her passive is making it so they're less likely to shoot you, even more. And your mind control target can basically one-shot Eximus as well, so that's also really fun. Um, yeah, so, as far as other frames that are good against uh, Eximus with his indirect change, I'm sure there's a couple more out there, but this one is seeming really, really good so far. Uh, all three abilities that we've kept are good against Eximus, and the fourth one is the Hellman slot. You can just basically put whatever you want, whatever you want on there, whatever you have access to. So I'll see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, more videos throughout the week, and yeah, I appreciate all the support. Take it easy. Peace.